Hi, welcome to Playing with Prologue. I'm Ann Ogborn, and I'm here today with Sam Neves, my co-host, who is going to show off his Prologue-powered Lego robot. Hi, Ann. Um, glad to be here. I'm going to be uh, showing my robot. So we've got this EV3 brick, and the the it's basically a robot arm, which can move to the um, right or to the left and the claw can go up and down and to grip. Um, what the, the model is actually made from some of the instructions that come with the um, EV3 education set, um, but this is an EV3 home set. So I've kind of just uh, bastardized it a little bit with um, some other Lego that I had um, lying around. And that, um, means that I've managed to basically make the, um, the, the, the what you can see here, a kind of robot arm. Okay, so what I've done is um, I've uh, got the Pengen server running on the on the robot, and from Swish, which is an online version of Prologue, and I have written some code, which is some plans for the robot. And from here, I can use um, these different commands to control the robot remotely through the web. And so what actually happens is that um, when I send a command through the Swish interface, it will go to an online Prolog server in Amsterdam. And then that will then, will then come back here and ask my robot to uh, do the commands that I've asked it to do. Now, Sam, uh, yeah. so how do you do the communication between Prolog and Python? Um, I will show you that in just a second. What I okay. will do first is show one of what the a small Python script looks like. So if I look at, say, arm up. Okay, so we have, have a few comments and things in here, but just try and make this a bit bigger. So basically, I'm importing these uh, packages, um, the EV3 one and the time one. And then I'm just saying that my large motor is in the C port of the EV3. And then I'm just giving it a command, um, which is enough to make it uh, rise the arm. And once it's rise the arm, to hold it there. So it's just a really simple script, and that's just going to move things up. So I've got similar ones for arm down, close floor, move to the center, face left, face right, things like that. So we then go back up to the next folder and we look at the prologue code. Okay, so we have a module of prologue here where we have these exported predicates. Center, face left, face right, arm up, arm down, open floor, close floor, color, and uh, my make. And you don't have to worry about the make one. Um, and see, you've just got this, basically it's the same repeated kind of code where... So you, you just make a process, you just shell uh, okay. out. It's creating a process, running the Python script, and then closing. Okay. Okay. So that's pretty simple. And we have this little read lines code. So for and this will just any of the line um, the output from the Python um, can then be pulled back into the the um, prolog. So for example, that only really works on the color one. So on the color one. And when it reads lines, it will read the, the color the, the color sensor is picking up. Okay. So all of this is pretty simple. The clever bit is the um and a server, so let's just get that up. So this is the server code, which will launch the Pengin server. And I just mark all of my 
um, predicates that are in that test module as safe. And I have this set up as an initialization to be a HTTP daemon. So does that make sense to you, Anne? Do you yes. see how this is? Going? Yes, this is great. There we go. Did you see that? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so if you change that arm up to say um, arm down. Arm down. Okay. Yeah, so arm underscore down with a anonymous variable. Okay. Um, then I should be able to run. Uh, There we go. And then it, down it comes. Uh, very cool. So if we, we can, with, with sending commands and programming it remotely and from the Swish network. Very neat. And um, so to get the EV3 dev on your um, EV3 break, you need to go to the EV3 dev website, and you'll download a version of Debian, which you'll put onto a micro SD card. Then when you insert the micro SD card into your robot and um, the Lego brick, then if you've done that correctly, then the um, bootloader will load first from the SD card, so it will load Debian rather than the Lego Mindstorm's default operating system. I see. Um, so it doesn't change the brick in any way because if you just eject the SD card, it will just load back into normal Lego Mindstones Storms mode. So you've got no kind of risk there. And the you obviously you need to have put a Wi-Fi um, or an Ethernet cable onto your Lego brick. So I've just got a little um, Wi-Fi dongle which plugs into the USB port, and that just works straight away with the EV3 dev. Um, Linux operating system. Great, and then and then there's a Python that you install that has the. Yeah, so then you need to install a Python library, um, and there's a good tutorial. Um, if you search for EV3 Python, um, a guy called Nigel Ward, and he's got a few YouTube videos as well, and um, he explains how to do the the Python. Um, which gives you the kind of low-level control, and you can do lots of uh, cool things with the Python control. I think that um, if you were doing the prolog in a bit more detail, you can actually uh, you'd use C programming rather than Python, and then you could have um, the prolog have like native C code, um, and that would be another way you can do it. But Python is easy, so I recommend doing that. If, you're, if you've got a robot similar to this where you've got kind of structured actions rather than smooth movements. Okay. So, okay, thanks. So we've, we've shown how the robot works. Um, if you want to have a go at uh, controlling my robot, then you can go to a Swish notebook and the link is just down here and you'll be able to control the robot and you'll be able to see the video when it's streaming on YouTube. So I'm not sure when we'll be um, having it live, but there certainly will be live um, for you to have a go at some point. Great. Thank Thanks for seeing the video and hope that you enjoy playing with Prolog. Thanks, Sam. This has been great. Uh... And we'll see you on Playing with Prologue. Bye. Bye.